Um, so let's let's start and let's start and get duked. <laughs> um, this film was really funny. It was like idiotic funny, um, and then not only that, but you also educate us and you know a tradition for us Americans, the very oblivious and a lot of things. Um, how did you come up with the concept of combining so many things? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I mean, it was always purposely playing with mixing a bunch of genres together in a sort of surprising, constantly evolving way. And uh, and yeah, at the heart of it, it's four boys on this thing called the Duke of Edinburgh Award, which is a, a real thing, a real expedition that teenagers do um, in the UK, camping and hiking over several days, normally getting lost <laughs> uh, as they fail to navigate their way. And using that as a construct for a comedy horror with a sort of a political, uh, satirical undercurrent running through it. Um, so I have to ask, I, I read somewhere that your intention for this film was to break the UK mold when it comes to films. Did you achieve that with this film? Well, I mean, listen, I'm sure someone will get very annoyed with me for saying that and, and point out all the films that are not fitting this mold. But for me, I, I had this sense that uh, films that want to talk about social issues or injustice were normally very uh, serious and in the case of the UK often very depressing uh, and films that were funny or comedic were sort of very gross out trivial crass and the two were never allowed to to ever go close to each other and I, I kind of wanted to make a film that was wildly entertaining and you know a teenager would want to watch and 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 or you know all life all ages most of that and, and quote and watch with their friends multiple times, but also had a sort of social commentary and not only that sort of political uh, motivation to it, sort of something inspire you to kick off and change the world. <laughs> I see, I see. And just out of curiosity, what was eaten um, when it comes to the the rabbit shit? And and quotes, would you eat that kind of rabbit shit if well, you knew yeah, it was so good? There's <laughs> many uh, creative uh, plots in this film, I'd say, and certainly a major one that unexpectedly develops is that the rabbit, the rabbit shits in the Highlands are hallucinogenic due to the rabbits eating magic mushrooms in it, fermenting in their gut. And, you know, it's very scientific. Um, and, and, yeah, people do eat them at various stages. I, I, you know, I'd love to say that the actors were all very method and I actual rabbit droppings, but in the reality, it might have been a, more like a chocolate brownie, but uh, I won't fully uh, disclose that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for your feedback and talking about the film and congratulations being your debut film. Oh, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thanks for You're chatting. You're welcome. Thank you. Take care.